Hey guys, Brian here with part two of the manual transmission build where I try to assemble the design made by Eric the Pool Boy. And in part one, we printed a lot of all the housing pieces using the green PLA that I had left. Looks pretty good. And then I decided to print all the gears. But I realized that I didn't really like the color scheme of all of these um, gears and the yellow and the green. It kind of reminded me of some plant cell biology model. So I put it on hold for a while. And I put it on hold really because there's a major problem where the gears actually wouldn't fit through the shift collars at all. They just, they're supposed to go through and travel smoothly, but they don't. And especially on the initial layer, everything's a little bit wider, so some of the parts don't even fit very well at all. So I put that on hold, and later I came back and printed everything in white using the PLA Plus Pro that um, led me to victory on the OpenRC1. And I printed the housing with support this time. I don't think I really needed it. It actually produced a lot of artifacts after I tore it off. Um, but with high detail instead of standard, the holes were a lot bigger on the high detailed ones. So I think that's good. But as long as you have that Dremel tool, it doesn't really matter. You can always make the small holes bigger, I think. What really shocked me though was the shift collars without any deburring actually worked very well and you can see it goes right through without any issues. I don't know if um, Eric the Pool Boy uh, adjusted something or not. Is it the filament? Well, one of those two um, might have to do with it. So when I actually complete this transmission build, I think I'm gonna go back and use the Hatchbox PLA and see and experiment to identify what causes these hard to fit parts. And if I take a gear, the white one, it actually goes through the yellow shift collar um, pretty well. But anyway, as you can see, I've printed all the parts here. I've ordered screws, rods, nuts, uh, set screws, everything that I needed based upon the Excel spreadsheet um, on Eric the Pool Boy's Thingiverse project. So I'm waiting for those, and once those come in, we'll start putting everything together. I'll just show you um, how I do it, and maybe there's going to be mistakes, but that's part of what makes it fun. And after this, maybe I'll make a completely uh, new transmission with a proper tutorial and all that. But let's have fun just fumbling and making mistakes and <laughs> fixing things as we go. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.